By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define magnification as m equals to b over u. Relate focal length f to the object distance u and image distance b. That is, one over f equals to one over u plus one over v. Compare images formed by two magnifying glasses. Which magnifying glass produces a bigger image? What is the relationship between the magnification and the size of the image? The linear magnification m is the ratio of the size of the image to the size of the object. The linear magnification of a lens changes with the position of the object from the lens. M equals to size of image over size of object. If the value of M is less than one, the image is smaller than the object. If the value of M is equal to one, the image is of the same size as the object. If the value of m is more than one, the image is bigger than the object. At the image distance, in the triangle ABC, the tangent of the angle ACB is equal to the size of the image over the image distance, which is equal to the size of the object over the object distance. By rearranging the formula, the size of the image. Over the size of the object is equal to the image distance over the object distance, which is equal to the linear magnification of the lens. Linear magnification of a lens can also be written as m equals to v over u, where v is the image distance and u is the object distance. Ray diagrams can be used to find the position of an image formed by a lens, and it can tell us about the properties of the image too. But drawing ray diagrams is time-consuming, and it gives approximate results. It would be useful to find the relationship between focal length f, object distance u, and image distance v. Let's carry out a simulation experiment to find the relationship between the object distance u, the image distance v, and the focal length f, and also to study the properties of the images formed by the lens. Click and drag the object distance slider to vary the distance from 15 centimeters to 30 centimeters. From the results obtained, we observe that one over u plus one over v equals to one over f. This is known as the lens formula. From the calculations of the ratio v over u, we observe that the size of the image formed by the lens varies with the object distance u. As u increases, the size of the image decreases. An object is placed 30 centimeters from a convex lens of focal length 20 centimeters. How far from the lens is the image? What is the magnification produced by the lens? What is the nature of the image? From the data given, f equals to 20 centimeters. U equals to thirty centimeters. Using the lens formula and rewriting it, 
1 over V is equal to 1 over 60. Hence, V is 60 centimeters. The image is 60 centimeters from the lens. The positive sign here means the image is real and it is on the opposite side of the lens. From the linear magnification formula, M is equal to 2. M equals to 2 means the image is twice the size of the object. The image is real, inverted and bigger than the object. Click and drag the object in front of the concave lens. Observe properties. Click and drag the object in front of the concave lens. Observe the change in the properties of the image and the position of the image. From the data obtained, what can you say about the relationship between U, V, and F? How is the magnification of the object varied? 1 over U plus 1 over V equals to 1 over F. The magnification values decreases as the object moves further and further away from the lens. The image diminishes as object distance increases. In this lesson, we learned that linear magnification of a lens, M is equal to size of image over size of object, or M is also equal to image distance over object distance. If M is lesser than 1, the image is smaller than the object. If M is equal to 1, the image is the same size as the object. If M is greater than 1, the image is bigger than the object. The lens formula is 1 over F equals to 1 over U plus 1 over V.